Yo, people often ask me, and this guy, what can you do with Python? Just kidding. They don't ask this guy what you can do with Python. They ask that guy what dude, you can do with JavaScript. What can JavaScript. you do with Python, dude? Tell me. <laughs> There's a lot you can do, bro. So first of all, let me actually show you. This is something actually really, really cool. Behind every film, would you believe it? It's actually powered by Python. What? Did you I know, didn't know that? that Netflix was powered by Python? Did not know that. A lot of people don't know that. And the point is that software-driven networking is actually a huge thing that you can do with Python. That's right. That's pretty cool. All right, another really epic thing that you could do with Python that most people don't know about is actually data analysis. And this thing is way too zoomed in, so let's zoom it out. The black hole image that was shot is it possible to see something that, by definition, is impossible to see? Well, it turns out that if we were to zoom in at radio wavelengths, we expect to see a ring of light caused by the gravitational lensing of hot plasma zipping around the black Jesus, did you know that that was made with Python? That was captured by Python? I did not know that. I know, bro. Me neither, until I Googled it. It's pretty crazy. Shit's wild out here. Shit's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, look at that. Python used to take photo of the black hole. Dang, that's exciting stuff. And just really quickly plugging my Instagram here so you guys can follow me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I can't full screen that. What are you doing, bro? I'm just doing some uh, ads, you know? Just running some ads. Oh, launching your course, bro? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, baby. If any developers wants to learn, <laughs> come learn from us. That's right. I'll make you millions, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Um, okay, what else can you do with Python? Like, actually, I'm asking you, like, not even on the camera right now. Uh, full stack development, you know. <laughs> uh, full stack. Other job opportunities, you know. One, one, million, one million jobs are, you know, supposed to be unfilled, you know, by uh, 2022. So, oh, this guy. Can, can keep it happening, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's actually a great point, bro. Thank you. So, full stack development, you can do that with Python. Python is unbelievable for that. So, for example, this app that I'm on right now called Instagram, this is powered by Python. Oh. All right, this YouTube thing that we look at, this is actually powered by Python as well. And I'll just make it easier for all of us by going to my website, cleverprogrammer.com, and here are all of the things, my friend, that are powered by Python. Google, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, Dropbox, Pinterest, Eventbrite, and Spotify. Now, obviously, these behemoth giant software as a service companies aren't just only using Python, they're using multiple other languages, but I just wanted to give you a sense that Python is used for data analytics, it's used for full stack development and it's used for software driven networking and you can be a beginner or you can be advanced you can be working at google or youtube or you could be working at nasa or netflix using it another thing that i like to do when i'm looking up languages and trying to figure out what can you do with them is I like to, number one, be very, very practical with this stuff. So always look up what kind of job opportunities exist and what kind of freelancing opportunities exist for what you want to do. So let me show you. So here's a good way to like figure it out. So like I'm on Upwork right now. I'm going to click here. It says jobs. I'm going to type in Python. Now let's see what kind of results come up. All right. So here are some of the results. It says I'm looking for a programmer. Cool. Python code creating an automated program, $500 job. Okay, great. 
So they're basically looking for what seems to be like an SEO agency and they just want somebody to automate some scripts for them. Cool. What else? Somebody needs a Python web scraper. And looks like somebody needs a full stack developer that they're willing to pay $2,500 for. Now, this is the type of stuff I always want to look for when I'm looking for a programming language or what kind of demand there is for something because I want to know what kind of freelancing opportunities there are. Can I actually start making an income from it? And it's very important that we actually stay practical and not just be so lost in the high level of things. You know, here, even if you're a beginner, you can just be like, hey, I can just quadruple down on learning web scraping and I can probably land a job at Upwork. Or maybe you could be like, hey, if I just like really went hard on the full stack development, maybe I could land a job, right? Here, somebody wants you to actually work on, what is it? it looks pretty simple. Sports statistics website. I mean, that's pretty easy. The level is intermediate and they're gonna pay you 2,500 bucks. So really, the possibilities with this shit are endless and it's really up to you how you put it to use and you use it. So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you with what can you do with Python. Now, the question is, what do you want to do with Python? So drop that in the comments below. I would love to learn what it is that you enjoy doing with Python. And that's it for me. This is Kazi, I love your face and I'll see you in the next video. From being completely broke to then learning how to code in just a few months, landing my contract as a freelancer with Python and being able to make $20,000 while I was a terrible community college student. And to then being able to live the lifestyle I want on my own terms and have the ability to have my own time, freedom, money, and have the ability to make an impact on the world and at the same time travel with my friends be there for my family you know when we hit 300,000 subscribers go to all these events even now I'm in Miami at 10x growth con with Grant Cardone how does that lifestyle come about as a Python developer I was able to create that lifestyle for myself and in this video I want to show you that how you can do that for yourself take students like for example John Navarro who went from working with me from complete zero to becoming a senior data scientist or Nazar Mali, who landed a $130,000 contract, and now he has moved to Germany with his family and living an amazing life. Or a Farine Sheikh, who was able to make $20,000 after she took one of our programs. I've put together an incredible training for you that'll help you become a six-figure developer. So you can earn the income you want, you can have the time, money, and the freedom, and the impact that you wanna have in this world. The link is below, click on the link, it'll take you to the training, just put in your email, I'll send you this master class, it's three part series, it'll absolutely blow your mind. Completely free, so take advantage of it before I decide to take it off, go there, do it now, and I'll see you on the other side.